It's an upgraded version of a machine by a manufacturer known for the most refined finishing details in the industry. Beyond high-end finishing, it adds three-way temperature control to easily match brew temps to the roast level of your coffee or kick up the steam pressure for faster steaming and an automatic pre-infusion function. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Holate Love with an in-depth look at the ECM Mechanica 6 Slim. It's available in standard mirrored finish stainless steel or in the heritage version I have here with the anthracite housing and noble copper accents. It's part of the ECM heritage line of products including the coordinating S Manuel 64 grinder, the frothing pitcher and the snock box. The heritage line was inspired by ECM's 26 year history and owner Michael Hauck's takeover of the family business from his father and his love for historic espresso machines and details. Like all ECM machines with E61 groups, this one is available with flow control to help you produce next level espresso. Now, I won't go deep into what flow control can do, but I've linked a video in the description or right up here showing two easy methods to use flow control to improve your espresso. Coming up in this video, I'll cover the basics, have a quick comparison to the similar Profitech Pro 400, have a deeper look at the three-way temperature control, take a look at results of steam performance testing, cover the automatic pre-infusion mode, take a look at internal components, show you what's in the box, and wrap up with some final thoughts. So what's new in the Mechanica 6 Slim? Well, we've got two key upgrades from the previous model. There's the automatic pre-infusion you can turn on and off, and three temperature settings controlled by PID. More on those coming up, but first let's go over the basics. It's got a massive 2.2 liter stainless steel heat exchange boiler that sits in a package that's just under 10 inches or 24 centimeters wide. That's a lot of boiler for a machine of this size. That big boiler means better thermal characteristics and steam that won't quit. And you can really crank up that steam all the way to 1.6 bar pressure at the high temperature setting. Individual gauges monitor steam and brew pressure and brew pressure is externally adjustable by turning the OPV adjustment located under the cup tray. The insulated steam and hot water wands are no burn. The machine comes with a real tamper. The single and double spout porta filters are angled. Now, if you've been researching machines, you may have come across the Pro 400 from ECM's sister company, Profitech. It shares some DNA with the Mechanica 6 Slim with the same three-way temperature selection and automatic pre-infusion function. The difference is, well, boiler size. The Pro 400's is smaller at 1.6 liters versus 2.2. Finishing quality is more refined on the Mechanica with wrapped panel edges, angled and balanced porta filters with chrome tips, individual gauges and extras like the satin finish on the Heritage front panel and drip tray, and subtle touches like the facets on the E61 exhaust port. The three-way temperature control is a marquee feature of this machine. Using the three-position switch located under the right-hand side of the machine, you can quickly set brew temps appropriate to the roast level of your coffee. Push the front of the switch in for a cooler temperature for darker roast coffees, set to the middle position for medium and light roasts, and push to the rear and go to a higher temperature to bump up pressure in the boiler for extra steaming power. Here's a chart showing the typical uses, temperature ranges, and boiler pressure for the switch positions. While you don't have the degree-by-degree -degree settings of a full PID machine, boiler temps are under PID control and far more accurate than heat exchange boiler machines run by pressure stats. It's a simple and easy to use setup that keeps the cost of the machine down and will produce excellent results for the majority of users. And as we'll see in our steaming tests, it makes it easy to temporarily turn up the steam power 
for a 25% increase in performance. That's something you really can't do in a pressure stack controlled heat exchange boiler machine without maybe cooking your coffee, and it would be a little clumsy to pull off on more expensive full PID machines. Bottom line, this setup saves on machine price, provides all the temperature control most users need, and makes it easy to get extra steam pressure when you want it. That's going to be a winning combination for most users. To test frothing performance at the three boiler settings, we did our standard test timing how long it took to heat five ounces of milk to a finish temp of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit, starting with milk straight from the fridge in the low 40s. Starting boiler pressure ranged from one bar at the lowest setting up to 1.65 bar at the highest setting. At the lowest setting, it was 28 seconds to finish, 23 seconds for the middle setting, and 21 seconds at the highest setting. Not only does the highest setting reduce steaming time by up to 25%, but produces a more vigorous roll in the pitcher. If you're newer to frothing, it could even be too much, but those with experience are sure to appreciate the added steam pressure. I do not recommend using the highest temperature setting for making espresso, but once you've started an extraction, you can easily flip the switch to high for more steaming power without changing the brew temperature. You'll reach max pressure in about 30 seconds, but can certainly start frothing immediately and have pressure building as the boiler continues to heat while you're steaming. You can think of it as a turbo froth switch. Just be sure to set the switch back to the middle or front end position as soon as you're done frothing so the boiler drops back down to espresso brewing temperature. The Mechanica 6 Slim has an automatic pre-infusion mode. When turned on, lift the brew lever and the pump runs for 5 seconds, then pauses for 3 seconds. After that, the pump comes back on and continues running until the brew lever is lowered. The pre-infusion is gentle due to the slow increase in pressure of the vibration pump. Potential benefits of pre-infusion include swelling the coffee prior to full pressure brewing to help prevent channeling and giving fresh from roast coffees a moment to off-gas prior to full pressure to help reduce bright and acidic flavors. Eco mode is another feature you can turn on or off. When enabled, heating of the boilers is switched off after 90 minutes of inactivity to save power. Raising and lowering the brew lever or operating the main power switch reactivates boiler heating after the machine enters eco mode. Now, if you watch my videos, you know I love to pop the hood and check internal components. Before we go there, notice under the cup warming tray, the OPV adjustment is fully exposed, allowing for brew pressure adjustment without removing the case. I appreciate that easy access. On many machines, including the Rocket Apartamento, you have to remove panels to adjust brew pressure. Another thing to be aware of, like all ECM and Profitech machines, the E61 group uses a stainless steel mushroom. Some manufacturers use chrome-plated mushrooms, which are more susceptible to scale deposits or flaking of the metal plating. Internally, high-quality components are laid out to protect electronics from heat and water. Water. Moisture from the vacuum relief on the boiler is vented to the drip tray. The static relay is mounted on thermal paste to dissipate heat for reliable operation. Quality rubber pump mounts reduce noise and make the Mechanica a very quiet vibration pump machine. In the box with the Mechanica 6 Slim, the angled and balanced single and double spout portafilters, single and double shot filter baskets, a blind filter basket for back flushing and pressure adjustment, a real usable tamper, group brush, and the user manual. The ECM Mechanica 6 Slim offers a big boiler machine in a compact package. The three-way temperature selector makes it easy to set a brew temp appropriate for your coffee's roast level and to bump up the pressure temporarily for extra steaming power. While it does not have the degree-by-degree -degree control of a full PID machine, it doesn't come with a higher price tag either. 
ECM quality is legendary and it's backed up by extras like the reliable internal design, stainless mushroom in the E61, and external finish details. Plus, there's usability extras like the automatic pre-infusion mode and accessible brew pressure adjustment. Put it all together and this machine offers a feature set and quality level at a price that's attractive when compared to competing machines. Well, I do hope that's helped you out. If you have any questions on the Mechanica 6 Slim or anything coffee, use those comments and I'll get you a detailed answer. And if you love coffee and espresso as much as I do, I invite you to subscribe. I'm Mark, thanks for watching and be sure to come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.